Well, good morning, my friends, and welcome to another Wednesday morning with John O'Leary. Delighted as I am every Wednesday to be with you. I was asked in a grade school presentation recently, Mr. O'Leary, Mr. O'Leary, what's your favorite part of a day? What's your favorite part of the day? And I'm, you know, I got a lot of favorite parts of the day. One of my favorite parts is when I get to put four little kids to bed. I get to take dirty kids upstairs, bathe them, get them down, tuck them in, read with them, put them to bed, and then Beth and I get a little bit of time finally by ourselves. So that's a great part of the day. I love work. I love travel. I, I love my family. I love seeing my parents. I love hanging out with my bride. I love seeing my friends. I, I, I love much of a day. But my answer to him, and now my share with you is this. My favorite part of the day by far is the early morning. I love waking up early before the sun is up, making myself just a little cup of coffee, making my way outside, sitting on the screen porch or sitting on the deck, and slowly watching the night turn into day. I love watching the sunrise. I love the sound that nature makes. I love the way the trees look different when the sun is beginning to rise. The Celtics used to have a term and they used to call it the thin line. They believed that heaven and earth were unified twice during each day, during the sunrise and during the sunset. They, they believed that it was the time when heaven and earth were connected during the sacred moment, a moment in time they felt not to miss each day. My friends, I think what they knew to be true is something that we each can grab onto each day if we slow down step away from email, step away from the meetings and the race through life, grab that cup of coffee and look outside at the grandeur that is in front of us, this union, this miracle, this moment when heaven and earth are again reunited each day for us to see in a very visual way. I don't think it's true only in the morning and only in the evening. I believe it's true all day long. I believe in grace and forgiveness and uh, a God that is ever present. So that's good news for me. But I also see it visually and in a very beautiful manner every morning as I look to the east and watch this transformation again from dark to light, from death to light from despair to hope. My friends, I hope this morning that that same glimmer of light has sparkled into your eyes, has come into your life, and that it jot dives and dances back into your life each morning going forward, because that is good news, to realize all you gotta do is look out there, shut your eyes, be warmed by those rays, and to realize that as challenging as each day may be, as difficult as the nights may get, the truth remains this, that our best days remain in front of us and remain before us beginning right now, today, this moment. So my friends, for this time and until next time, take a big sip of coffee, take in the light of the sun, and know that this is your day. Live inspired.